Welcome back to speak to go In this video, we will explain how to get started and implement speak to go at your school. We will take you step by step through a series of actions that need to be completed by your school in conjunction with speak to go Implementing speak to go requires a few technical, administrative and pedagogical actions to get started. As always, if you have any problems, we are available to help. So contact us through your speak to go representative on our helpline number or via email. Getting ready to start with speak to go the first step is to open Speak2Go as a software provider for your school. This is done by the school secretary, it's quick to do, and there is a separate explanatory video. Once you're connected, Speak2Go automatically connects to your groups of students and teachers as defined in your school learning management system. Your ICT coordinator or the administrator will ensure that students and teachers have a correct username and password in the Ministry of Education's identification system. These will have been distributed to students and teachers. Your English coordinator, together with your speak to go representative, will allocate a speak to go product to each English class according to their level. An explanation of speak to go products and the product catalogue can be found in a separate video. Each computer class must be assigned two capable students with access to school computers. These are your computer trustees. Their role is to ensure that classes are set up and ready for each lesson and to give any technical support to the teacher. We will send a web form to all teachers and computer trustees so they can register with Speak2Go to receive updates and information. To prepare for training days, Speak2Go has tutorials for teachers, students and computer trustees. There are a number of activities that need to be completed before we can start training your students to use Speak2Go. The school must confirm that a computer room or computer cart and a suitable learning space are available for each Speak2Go class. To practice with Speak2Go, each student or teacher must have a computer or smartphone together with a personal headset that includes a microphone. We can recommend a suitable headphone model should you need it. Students who use a cell phone for Speak2Go practice should bring their own personal headphones. Where a school does not have sufficient computers for students, the school administration is asked to authorise students to use mobile phones to practice with during Speak2Go lessons. Phones provide an excellent solution to the lack of computers and limited connectivity that exists in some schools. Finally, English teachers must attend tutorials with Speak2Go. They are helpful and short, so don't miss them. And on the day of training, the IT coordinator should be available at school. There are some great training videos that will help you plan your lessons and work with Speak2Go. Here are a couple of tips. We recommend your students have at least one Speak2Go practice lesson a week. On school days or in the case of distance learning, most of the students can practice English with Speak2Go individually and from home. So it's a great homework resource as well as class resource. We recommend including Speak2Go practice as part of the English grade on a school report. This motivates students to practice and that contributes greatly to improving their level of English. The control panel allows the teacher to track progress and understand at a glance the status of each student. Use it to monitor weekly activity. It's quick and easy and keeps you up to date. You can identify students who are not practicing and falling behind and also encourage those who are progressing nicely. We hope that you enjoy the great benefits that Speak2Go can bring to your classroom. Thank you for listening and any questions, info at speak2go.com.